Hello and welcome to the Tournament Center. It's time for a Deck Tech. I'm Randy Bueller. I'm here with Aaron Nicastri. Aaron came into this tournament with a one-point lead in the Rookie of the Year contest. He's on the Australian national team, individual competition, brings the standard deck to battle, 6-0. and 6-0, oh. and oh, got Australia sitting in first place, he's sitting in first place. Tell us about this deck. What you got for us? Um, it's a white-red deck uh, based around Ranger of Eos and taking advantage of it with the small guys. Um, it's playing a lot of very efficient spells, spells that come back from the graveyard when they die, spells that get more dudes, planeswalkers, you know, it's got a little bit of everything. So you think of this as a Kifkin deck? I mean, is this White Weenie or is this more of sort of a control card advantage deck? Um, it's sort of like mid-range, but it can randomly go aggro. Okay. It can play So I mean, you come out Mog Fanatic, Figure of Destiny, you can smash somebody out of the gates with this yeah, end of the deck. you can even go like Figure, Turn to Wimbrish Heights, Pump Figure, Turn sure. 3, Spectral Possession. And then, like, just getting in there on that is, wow. like, pretty fast and pretty good, especially when you, like, drop Siege Gang under there or drop, like, Ranger under under the Windbrisk Height. Yeah, that's the Windbrisk Height like, you're talking about. Three attackers, and you get to play something for free, which is not that hard to do in a deck that's got Spectral Procession, Weenies, Ranger of Eos is three attackers all by himself, right? Yep. So you've got the aggro draw, but then you've also got the card advantage half of it, right? You I mean, you, got, you can out attrition a five color control deck, I would think, with this, right? Ranger of Eos, Revelark, Siege Gang, a Johnny Vengeance can really mess up with somebody's game plan. It's certainly a war of attrition's in those games. You have to really push on your figure of destinies and um, just, just play very tight because they do actually have card advantage, whereas you've got like creatures gaining you advantage, so it's yep. sort of. I don't know, it's, it's one of those, those tough ones, I think. So where did the deck come from? Um, I think the original list came from um, Sylvain L'Oreal in, in France before, um, before Pro Tour Berlin, and Pierre Canale ran it, and I think there was oh, a deck Oh, with the LCQ? Yep. Or the last chance qualifier, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a deck tech done on it, and it sort of evolved from there. This is more like the version that got run last week in the Sydney 5000, except the difference is, I think, spec Spectral Possession is insane, so yeah. I'm running it rather than running like the Knight of White Orchards or the Meadow Green Knight style running in that slot. Okay. Yeah, I know Brian Kowal qualified for the, the, the cruise, the game in the golf, and then Osip used that for the top eight in Philly. So a lot of good players have sort of had their hands tweaking, tweaking, tweaking this deck. What, uh, what kind of tech you got in the sideboard? Um, in the sideboard, I have Rats, so I can really play as a control deck. I have Voice of All, so in combination with the Still Moon Cavalier and the Voice of All, like you can sort of like lock a Kitkin deck out okay. by, by just playing like five top white guys and a whole bunch of rats against the red deck, sliding in the extra Forge Tender so that you can go uh, Ranger of Eos looking for two Forge Tenders. Nice. Is just broken. Um, you you have this package of six cards, the Vithian Stingers and the Guttural Response. Uh, it's pretty good against fairies. Okay. Uh, Did you get to play against a fairy deck? I didn't get to play against a fairy deck. I, I, yeah, I, there's fairies all over the top of the Swiss. It's actually kind of a bad break for you. So you think fairies is a good matchup yeah. for this deck? I, I think it's pretty solid. I think especially, like, if you can get a turn one Mog Fanatic out, you're going a long way to winning that matchup. Okay. Uh, as ridiculous as that sounds, just getting, like, a, a decent one drop out. Yeah, Bitter Blossom can be pretty good against you, though, right? It, it can be. Um, the card that I wish I had in my sideboard that I don't is Wismare, and ah. the Voice of Alls are taking that slot. Okay. Um, the, the Vithian Stinger can negate a, a bit of Blossom quite well. Okay. And if you can get a couple of them out and running, you know, it's really, really going to be problematic for the Fairy decks. So I don't, don't think that's too bad, and they don't really want to waste their removal on a 0 1 dude that comes back and still stings them anyway. <laughs> So, Fairy decks were three of the five undefeateds on day one of Worlds, but you got one of the other spots, and it's a more uh, sort of white weenie traditional aggro Kipkin deck, or white weenie deck, not even really Kipkin synergy deck, got the other 5-0 slot. You recommend this deck? Would you play the same deck if you had it to do over again? Um, I'd probably drop the Still Moon Cavalier, go up one more land because I'm playing 22 land, which with the Mind Stones, 26 sources, yep. but I'd still like one more. Okay. And I'd probably drop the, the voice of alls um, and probably a guttural response and put one cavalier in the board and three with men. All right. So very close to what I'm running. Pretty cool deck. Yeah, it, I, I think this is one of the better decks in the format right now. Definitely something for you guys to check out there at home, take it to Friday Night Magic or uh, wherever you want to play some magic. 
Well, good luck the rest of the way, Aaron. Thank you Six very and much. 6-0 sitting in great shape for a potentially really good weekend for you. Yeah, looking, looking forward to drafting tomorrow. All right. Good luck to you. This is Randy Bueller for the Tournament Center Deck Tech.